Hey, fish heads, Jen Cravasi here. It's Tuesday. No, I didn't make it fishing today. Um, the place that I wanted to go, the water is blown, blown, blown out, and I'm banking on it, which means that I'm not in a boat. I'm bank fishing today, so probably would have been up shallow. Tomorrow's going to be a better day, and I've got a whole change of plans. I've re-rigged everything, and I'm going to be going fishing tomorrow. But in the meantime, I've got some uh, just a quick tip I wanted to show you. So... I've recently got um, a couple of things in. One, because the demand here in the Ozarks is really high for wiggle warts. So on my right, I have a blank that I have just gotten in from overseas. And then I have on my left, a blank that I've gotten in from Dinger. So right away, if we look at this particular bait, You've got three small chambers. You've got a one knock, which means that the rattle is it's firm in the middle and it's not gonna be moving back and forth, which means that there's no weight transfer, which is fine. Um, it's probably gonna help balance it. And this is a pretty decent ABS plastic. And it looks like it may have been pre-coated which I'm totally cool with as well. The seal is good on it. There are no visible cracks, and I've got a bunch more of them over there. I've been through all of those. This is the one that I wanted to kind of show you guys today. Uh, all of the eyelets are in place, and the nose eyelet is firmly in place as well. This is, this is um, Brian's pre-wrap version of um, that wiggle wart blank. So this is just a random run of the mill off of Amazon because I didn't get the package that I was supposed to get in. So the sound of the rattle is different. You've got two BBs in here. Now they are both firmly in place. Um, I have no visible issues with the belly eyelet or the tail. But if you're looking at the nose here, if I can put my finger behind it, there is a slight crack. So these bills are not ready to paint. I'm gonna have to seal this bill before I do anything with it. It looks like there might be a little chip in that side of the bill as well. So right off the bat, I'm noticing that it's not quite as good of a blank. This is just probably a rough cut press now let's weigh them. This is the one from random Amazon. Oh, guess it would help if I turned it on. Ta-da! In ounces for everybody in America. Ounces on this, 292. So just under, it's not even 3 8 So just under that. Zeroed out. This is the one from Dinger. 332, so 333. Three, three. This is a heavier blank. So they are not the same. And that is your quick tip of the day. You guys have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon.